straight SFs for Czechs, Serena returns for U.S. The Czech Republic beat Switzerland 3-1 to advance to its 10th straight Fed Cup semi-finals on Sunday, and Serena Williams played her first competitive match in more than a year as defending champion United States defeated the Netherlands 3-1. The Czechs, Fed Cup champions in five of the last seven years, traveled to Germany, which made its first semi-finals since 2015 after beating 2017 finalist Belarus 3-2 in Minsk. The U.S. goes to France, which defeated Belgium 3-2. Duo Wimbledon champion Peter Kvitova beat Switzerland's Belinda Bensik 6-2, 6-4 in the first reverse singles to give the Czechs an insurmountable 3-0 lead in the first-round match in Prague. The second reverse singles was not played but Switzerland's Timeo Baksinski and Jill Teichmann defeated Lucy Safrova and Barbara Strykova 1-6, 6-4, 10-8 in the doubles. The Germans last met the Czechs in the 2014 final, losing 3-1. Germany met Belarus for the first time without its three leading singles players. But that John and Maria won the first reverse singles for Germany against Vera Lepko 6-4, 5-7, 6-0 for a 2-1 lead. The 19-year-old Lepka made her Fed Cup debut in place of team number one Aleksandra Sasnovich, who lost her singles on Saturday. Irina Sabonka then tied the match 2-2 by beating German newcomer Antonia Lautner 6-3, 5-7, 6-2. But straight after that two-hour match, Sabonka returned for the deciding doubles without regular partner Sasnovich. Sabonka combined with Lidzia Mirzava for the first time, and they faced Maria and Annalena Gronefeld, who hadn't played Fed Cup doubles since 2011 but had a 3-2 record. The Belarusians committed 69 unforced errors as the Germans edged them 6-7, 4-7-5, 6-4. In Nashville, North Carolina, Serena Williams lined up alongside her sister Venus Williams in a doubles match. Serena Williams had said her return to tennis would represent the start of a long process. She and Venus lost 6-2, 6-3 to Leslie Kirkov and Demi Schuers of the Netherlands. The U.S. already had clinched victory thanks to a pair of singles victories by Venus Williams and have an April 21-22 semi-final in France. But this event was most notable for the return of Serena Williams, five months after giving birth. She hadn't played competitive tennis since winning the 2017 Australian Open while pregnant for her 23rd career Grand Slam singles title, one off Margaret Court's record. Serena's daughter, Alexis Olympia Ohanian Jr., was wearing a headband with red and white stripes plus a blue coat Sunday as her father, Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian, held her just behind the player's bench. I didn't manage my time well but I was thinking about it in the future how to manage it better," the younger Williams said. This is literally my first time traveling with the baby and everything. I'm going to try to do better. It was hard. It was the first time for me. Earlier Sunday, Venus Williams defeated Rachel Hogenkamp 7-5, 6-1 to give the U.S. a decisive 3-0 lead, with the scheduled singles match between Coco Van Gogh and Orant Xerus scrapped. Two-time champion France advanced with Amandine Hess and Christine Mladenovic winning 6-4, 2-6, 6-2 against Belgium's Elise Mertens and Kirsten Flipkins in the deciding doubles. Mladenovic double-faulted on her first match point at 40-15 but delivered a strong serve on the next point which proved enough, sparking wild celebrations from Captain Yannick Noah and French staff members at the indoor court in La Roche-sur-Yon in western France. In the absence of 7th-ranked Carolyn Garcia, who is declining to play for France as she focuses on her singles career, the 13th-ranked Mladenova led the way by winning both her singles. France won the competition in 1997 and 2003 but has lost three times in the final since then, most recently in 2016. Earlier, Alison Van Utvenk had swept aside Pauline Parmentier 6-1. 6-3 to draw Belgium level with France at 2-2 after Mladenovic rallied from 3-0 down in the second set to beat Merton 6-4, 6-4 and put France 2-1 up. 